Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, today, I actually have a, a little bit of a surprise video for you guys, I guess. Even though I'm not that much of an established YouTuber that I would have such a thing as surprise videos, I feel like every single video that I do upload to YouTube is a surprise to some extent. <laughs> today, we're gonna react to the Kiriko Overwatch um, cinematic that I forgot. Okay, things happen. And... Because so many of you asked, before we hop into another game genre, I'm actually gonna react to all of the Overwatch origin stories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I was asking for lore background a lot while watching the cinematics, you know, and you guys gave me a lot of lore background, actually a lot of really cool, interesting bits, but you also all said that the origin stories give a lot of lore background and they explain a lot. Uh, that has to do with the cinematics so here we are we're gonna do another overwatch video before we hop into probably league of legends but if you want to do a different a game genre next of game trailers then you vote on the poll below it's still open it's still available for everybody so if you want to change everything while well, i actually open this i just want to say thank you to everybody who's who's subscribed to my channel in the last three weeks it's been actually crazy i mean i'm a pretty i mean i would say pretty small twitch streamer and i just very very rarely upload on youtube and i started um with this idea of the reaction series not that it's like a, a rev revolutionary idea because duh it's reaction content but i just didn't think i would get so much feedback okay so much positive feedback so thank you very much for that I am curious to see where this journey takes us. As per usual, we're gonna make a tier list about the origin stories because I just cannot contain my judgment. I have to judge what I watch. Yeah, we'll see how we end up with this. I mean, I don't really have any expectations with these. I don't think they're gonna blow me away as much as the cinematics did. But who knows? Maybe there is some really touching stories here, okay? Let's start with the Anna origin story. Aww. My dearest Fariha, every mother hopes for a better life for her daughter. I was willing to fight and die for it. I taught God, you she looks that so there good. is nothing more important than protecting the ones you love. I would love you to have a mom like Anna. By heroes. She's such a badass. They filled your head with stories of adventure and dreams of glory. And one day, you wanted to join them. But it was not the life I wanted for you. Oh? You don't just get to decide that? I never told you of the weight I carry from all those I killed to keep everyone safe. But I always did what was asked of me. Until one day, I could not take the life I needed to. I oh? hesitated. Widow? And everything Is it? changed. No. No, it's not. The people who I was supposed to protect <gasps> died. And I was left behind, gravely wounded. That's how she lost the eye. The world believed that I was dead. I thought perhaps that Wait, did was she? For the best. I've lost so much in my life. I've said goodbye to so many friends. I've buried the ones closest to me. But for all that I have lost, I know that there are still people who need to be protected. So I cannot stop fighting. Yeah, she Not has yet. an eye patch. I was like, wait, does she? Not while there are people still waiting. Am I remembering for me. it wrong? One day, wow. I hope you'll understand. So badass, though. Your mother, Anna. This is a good one. I mean, they're all good ones. I feel like the last video when I was editing it, I just kept saying, wow, this is so cool. Wow, this is a cool one. Wow, this is so good. I guess I'm going to have to add to my repertoire of positive adjectives. Uh, but for now, cool and good and epic must do, okay? Do we actually know 
what the story is behind a tattoo is that just uh from her people or where she's grown up is that just something related to dad because i've never actually known why she has that very unique um tattoo or mark i guess on her eye hello foxo here from the future um if you're wondering yes i'm gonna continue asking a bunch of questions and yes you're gonna need a notepad to write them all down because it's gonna be that many before i forget we have to place this obviously okay um anna here it is this is a really cool shop by the way like even in the video i'm gonna put her on a just so i have a little bit more room to play with you know gotta you know gotta keep your options open okay with this one i just already played about 10 seconds of it the quality is quite bad and i can't find the actual video in a better quality so we'll just have to roll with this one okay overwatch was looking for a hotshot pilot to test their next generation teleporting fighter the slipstream enter lena o call sign tracer <laughs> that's me it was the sort of opportunity i dreamed of my whole life i didn't know she was a pilot the teleportation matrix malfunctioned and i disappeared oh. i was missing for months and no one knew where or when i had gone by the time overwatch found me i was little more than a ghost the doctors call my condition chronal disassociation I oh jesus in and out of existence disappearing for hours and days at a time and even when i was there i couldn't touch anything but my friend winston would not give up he kept at it day and night until he invented the chronal harness that keeps me anchored to the present i was myself again Oh, Even so better, it wasn't just... She wasn't just mentally dissociating. She was like literally time. physically disappearing. Whoa, okay. That makes but sense, though. An Overwatch agent had begun. Sounds like someone needs me. But don't worry. We'll have plenty of time for stories later. <laughs> Cheers! But now... It's pretty interesting, right? In the Tracer Widowmaker cinematic right her thingy breaks but she doesn't get thrown out of the present what does that mean shouldn't she have just started glitching again in and out of the time the current timeline i don't know maybe i'm overthinking it or maybe it wasn't completely broken i'm just i'm just wondering okay it's too bad that it, the quality was so bad because i can't really i don't even think the tracer one is on here so I guess we're not just not gonna rate to Tracer one unless I'm missing it. Nah, but I think it's not on here. All right, we're just not gonna rate to Tracer one. It would have also been unfair because the quality was really bad. Ah, sucks. But it is what it is. Now we all know what I think about Soldier, or well, you know if you've watched the other two videos that I have up about Overwatch cinematics. It's okay. You know I know I know that he's written the way he has written with intent okay he's written to be that stereotypical soldier character and a lot of you are also saying that you know his entire kit is actually made to um make it easier for people that are familiar with fps shooters to to play overwatch i understand you know i get it I get it but still there is still a high chance that this will end on a low tier right but let's let's see Surprise me, Soldier 76. Blow me away. My name is Jack Morrison. Jack. People used to call me a hero. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> I led Overwatch for 20 years. We ended the Omnic Crisis. This is... Okay, so it is Soldier then. Sorry. Those were the good old days. And Torbjorn. They didn't last. Wait, it is Reaper. <gasps> Bad guys popped up all over the world. Lots of folks said we failed to keep the world safe. Protests broke out. Now I'm they curious, we were what happened to Reaper? And people called for my head. They almost got their wish. They want it. What? They called for your head? What time is Overwatch it? Okay, got I'm in. From inside I and see. Out. Jesus. Our enemies blew up our headquarters. And me with it. They thought I died. Part of me did. <laughs> oh. Goes on. 
<laughs> now, I move in secret, striking Genji? from shadows. Just kidding. Hunting all those that Genji seventy six. Okay, kidding again. Call me a vigilante if you want. Truth is, I'm just a soldier. It's so true, though. His entire story, it's just so... What you would see in a movie about soldiers. Also, the plot, like, plot twist that he died, but didn't actually die. For some reason, that's also just so stereotypical to me. I don't think his story or his character will ever land a top tier on my tier list. This all, okay? It's all. Please. Please. Be nice. All right, the soldier one. Let's see, where you at, soldier? Am I blind? Does this even have all of the storylines? I swear to God, I'm gonna go look for a different one. All right, I fixed it, guys. I got a better, I got a better tier list. All right, we're gonna place the Ana one on A again. Does this have, this one have the Tracer one? Yes, it does. Okay, Tracer, um, B tier. Soldier, C tier. Why? Tracer below Soldier? Well, good question, actually. Well, one, the Soldier, uh, the Tracer one was super short, super short origin story, no? It sounded like you're in a hurry and you're, you're just trying to catch up with someone at the coffee shop. Like, just, yeah, so uh, I was a pilot and then uh, I had an accident and then I just, I glitched through timelines and then it got fixed and now I'm a hero at Overwatch, you know? Next one is Sombra, which I'm looking forward to this one. They're so short though. It's it's really it's it's so different reacting to these instead of the um the cinematics that are like between seven and ten minutes long. Who is Sombra? To the system, she's nobody. She doesn't exist. She's mommy. No one remembers the girl. There were a thousand children like her after the war. That's what? But none of them could hack like she could. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna say a thousand. And she learned that people were just as easily manipulated. A basket of now bread. She understood I would love a basket worked. of bread. Information is power. So she kept hacking politicians, corporations, governments. It was an addiction. But for the first time, someone noticed her. When your hardware's obsolete, it's time to upgrade. Jesus. The girl was gone, and Sombra was born. Now, I'm ready. What does she mean with her heart grows grew obsolete? I'll find out who really runs the world. I'll Me. find their weaknesses and how to exploit them. And when I do, I'll be the one oh, it's her. in the street. Look, look, it's the woman. That's the one uh and this is the guy that Widowmaker tried to attack. And here Reaper and Widowmaker are also on the picture. She's a crazy cool character. I will, I, this, to me, this one was S tier compared to the other ones. Just the music, the immersion, the story about her. Like you, you felt how this was a completely different vibe compared to the other ones, right? No? Next one, King's Row Uprising origin story. Is this, this is probably about the map, King's Row, right? King's Row is a map. 20 years after we won the war against the Omnics, we were no closer to living together in peace. The building of a new home for the Omnics in London was supposed to be the first step in improving human-robot relations. But... So they were at they war before. The Omnic extremist group, Null Sector, launched a surprise attack on King's Row. Always Hundreds the extremists. Killed, and thousands more were displaced as they took control. <sighs> now, they are hunting down the last of the survivors. It could be the beginning of a new war between humans and Omnics. Oh no. Unless we can stop them. Commander Morrison has sent our strike team to liberate the city. It's Let's my go. first mission. And the only way to save my home. 
Her first mission. Oh wow. That's a that's a hefty first mission to be on. Oh, so this is the first mission tracer skin. That's so it that's I don't know, it's like these little bits of knowledge that just make me happy. Okay, so next one, new hero, Doomfist origin story. Let's go. I didn't I didn't play when Doomfist first came out. Humanity is always I barely tested. know him, to be honest. Conflict and war is the crucible through which we evolve. Okay, he's ripped. Oh yo. The animation style. <gasps> it's like an anime! Holy shit, this is so cool. <gasps> Genji. Even the music! It reminds me of Naruto music. I was so excited about this one. Every battle makes us stronger. Yo. Oh. Can't deflect that, huh? Winston is super shocked. Someone beat Genji? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh no. Oh now she's glitching. See? This is what I expected. This is what I thought. Oh. Oh, the music. They actually have goosebumps. Those who fall will be forgotten. Those who rise up, their names will be remembered but forever. But is this... Hmm. Hmm. I have some questions, guys. So, number one. Is this before it was... His, like, hand was in the museum? You know? Because remember the, the first, um... Cinematic. I think it was the origin, uh, the Overwatch origin, not origin, but release cinematic, where the hand was in the museum and Widow and Reaper were trying to steal it. Remember? And then the kid used it. Or was this after? So they actually succeeded at stealing it, even though they didn't in that in that cinematic. But you know, other things could have happened. What side is he on? Like what? I mean, since Reaper and Widow tried stealing it, you'd think that he would be on the side. A Reaper and Widowmaker. But, you know, maybe he's like an independent party? Maybe he's like Darth Revan? This, this has got to be S tier. And now, things getting hard. Because now I have to move this down to, S, to A tier. And Ana actually has to stay there. Because there's no way the Ana origin story actually beats the Doomfist one. The animation style. I mean, guys, we gotta agree here, okay? Even if you don't watch anime, or you're not, you know, into anime, you gotta say, or gotta admit that this was really cool. Junkertown, the plan. Someone actually told me in the comments of my last video that I forgot this one specifically, so... It better live up to the hype, because you specifically mentioned it. Mm-hmm. The boys got thrown out. Well, that's a fine how do you do. What was it you think got us the boot? Stealing the queen's cash? Blowing up her summer sack? The beat down at the bar? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was, you really ticked off the big boss this time. I don't think they're gonna let us back in. No. So did they take? Well, there's two. Did they anger the Junker Queen? Is she ruling? Money. I mean, and he said queen, no so. I've got an idea! Yo, their characters. I can't wait to see this idea. That note. One worldwide heist spree later. I can't wait to see the look on the queen's face when she sees exactly who double crossed her. <laughs> so we're gonna go over the plan one more time. I think the dynamite so is a bit obvious. Ruin all, up. all 
All right. First, we like I like that he's just not saying then anything. We put on our inconspicuous disguises and sneak into town. After that, we get our glorious blinged out boom trolley right up to the boss's place, reveal our ingenious deception, and boom! They'll never see it coming! <laughs> um. Escape plan. <laughs> Take two. Wow. Like that non-verbal communication though between them. They are so mixed. Yeah. Run like hell and boom. It's foolproof. Run like hell and boom. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Right. The gold. No point in blowing it up. So <gasps> yes, inconspicuous trolley, front door, reveal. Grab the gold! And Boom. Does he approve? <laughs> he got the nod. Whatever you do, don't blow it. Inconspicuous. I don't think he's he's the one that might blow it. Like I said, oh my god. <laughs> it's Joker <Jumping> Town! <laughs> Do I even have to say anything about this? <laughs> they're just, you know, they're just, they're, they're just special snowflakes. Really likable special snowflakes, though. And just cool bit to watch. Also, just makes you like Junkrat and Roadhog more as a duo and just I've never seen Roadhog I think in anything other than in the game playing against him and I I guess I always figured he's kind of a boring character and this made it a little less however I'm not excited about the fact that the origin story is missing here well just for the sake of you guys knowing where I would have placed it I would have placed it I think A tier between Sombra and Anna. I know. I know that all the Soldier fans will be like, Really? Dude, how is it? Why is Soldier so far down? I mean, yeah, I... Sorry, okay? One day I'll make it up to you guys. Maybe. Uh, next one. Orisa Origin Story. This is gonna be interesting. Cause... And I hope, I mean, this is going to clear up some things. Because when I reacted to Honor and Glory, there were these um, machines, right? That looked like Orisa. And apparently, Orisa is a modified version of those. And the other ones don't exist or something anymore. I have pretty bad memory. How but I, I did read the comment where it was explained, okay? And it was really interesting. The world is a scary place. Even here in Numbani. Okay, that's not Orisa's voice. To protect us. Oh, it's Enter okay. the okay. OR 15 defense bots. They took oh. the old Adina model from the crisis and gave them a complete makeover. They kept us safe for a while. So a bunch of them got modified. Poor bots didn't stand a chance. Everyone else gave up on you. But I saw what you could be. So I rebuilt you, upgraded your programming, and gave you a heart. Why are all these kids so New smart? Module installed. When System I was that age, I was still like filling every angle, oh, like every inch of the um. <laughs> no. You know those no good. those every boards that you could fill, and it was like magnetic. What about? <sighs> yeah. Orisa. All right. So. I made you to be strong and brave. I'll say it you after. You still have a lot to learn. <laughs> and you'll probably mess up sometimes. But I know you'll become the hero we need. My name is Orisa. I will keep you safe. That is my primary function. 
Okay, this actually cleared up basically everything that I was wondering about. So, the, they had the old model that we saw in Honor and Glory, I think. They modified it. And then it was what looks a lot like Orisa, but then Orisa specifically got reprogrammed and updated, I guess, upgraded too. And that's why now she is Orisa. And Doomfist attacked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like Doomfist is really not the good guy. Not that the name Doomfist wouldn't have given that away already anyway. Okay, I like this one, but I mean, it's not super, super, super special, I guess. Better than the Sumra one? I... No, I don't think so for me. I mean, they're pretty even, basically. Even though this one is behind this one right now, they're pretty even for me. Moira origin story. Now this, I'm also interested in. I've only known Moira so far from the game. Just playing her. And from, you know, her voice lines. That's all I know about her background, basically. So, curious. I'm curious. We stand on the brink of a breakthrough in human evolution. I have dedicated my life to unraveling its secrets. I take risks <gasps> Funny. that others would consider to be unwise, for I do not share their caution. Animal cruelty? Overwatch Focus. held back the pace of scientific discovery for decades. They believed my methods were too radical too controversial and they tried to silence me i mean but there were others in the shadows searching for ways to circumvent oh. their rules hold on sorry for pausing is that okay that's definitely a reaper is it cassidy oh his arm was that made by orisa i mean moira and is that genji or no it looks like Genji. Wow. Searching for ways to circumvent their rules. Freed from my shackles, the so pace of made... our research <gasps> hastened. She made him. Together, we delved deeper into those areas forbidden by law, by morality, and by fear. New patrons emerged who possessed an appetite for my discoveries. Doomfist too? Oh, he's and just interested, with this probably. Knowledge? What new world could we build? Oh. I mean, gee, you guys weren't wrong when you said this gives a lot of lore background. Gosh, dang it. I was wondering, like, what happened to Reaper? Like, why? I now, yeah. Now the question arises, though. Why did Reaper do what he did? Like, why did he change himself into that? What made him stray away from Overwatch and, I guess, their cause, like, their purpose? Why did he turn to the dark side? Hmm. Suspicious, suspicious. I like it because it explained a lot to me guys i don't know if it's this one but it's purple it looks like moira i'm just gonna use it for this one next one is brigitte origin story i hope i actually hear some german this time maybe Schönen guten Tag. In stories the heroes get the honor and glory but their gleaming armor Aww. their mighty weapons the people who built them were heroes in their own right. And I thought I was gonna follow in their footsteps. That is so adorable. But a hammer and tools can't fix every problem. There are some things that can never be repaired. Wow. It's not enough to wait until the battle is over to fix their armor and bandage their wounds. If you can fight at their side, you can try to keep the blows from falling. <laughs> and maybe even protect them from themselves. I am Brigitte Lindholm, and I will be their shield. True. Oh, now that I heard that voice line, she's not even German. Wait. That sounded so northern. 
I am Brigitte. I forgot their last name. Lindholm. So, wait, okay, but I. Wait. <clears throat> Hold on. I thought Brigitte was Reinhardt's daughter? Is she not? And I thought that Reinhardt was German or Austrian at the very least. Hmm? I will ask. This is just this is just giving me more questions that I need answers to. Okay, this one mm, it's cute. It's cute, but it's not like super special. I would actually put this in C tier too. Not because it confused me more, okay? Next one is the Ash one. I am ready to simp I mean sorry. To respectfully watch this. Everybody needs a family. Because it's not fair facing the world alone. I don't care how tough you think you are. They should always be there for support. No matter what. True. In the best of times, they will arm you with the tools to succeed. And in the worst of times, they will understand. When She's pretty high on a don't really crazy hot scale, huh? Planned. Now, some people are lucky enough to be born into the perfect family. Others. <laughs> well, they go out and make one on their own. And once you've done that, Anything is possible if everyone pulls their own weight. If. So, That's why she made Bob. If you want to be part of my family, <laughs> I do have one little rule. It's my way. Or, who am I kidding? It's my way. Um... From like a psychological standpoint, her saying that last bit um, really gives you some insight on how her family worked, right? I don't think she had a lot to say or had a lot to say, period. And now she's uh, the boss of her family in quotation marks, right? Where basically she rules everything and anyone who disobeys her um, probably gets to meet Bob. Alright, I mean I like her. But for me, Sombra, Moira, Orisa one still, still above it. And I mean S tier, I don't, unless they have another origin story with this type of animation style or like a different cool animation style, I don't think... We're gonna actually reach that level again. I feel bad now. <laughs> Alright, new hero, Wrecking Ball. Journal entry 1963-4. That's him. Harold Winston. Status update on Specimen 8. By now, we're all used to our super intelligent gorillas on the colony. But uh. the hamster, <laughs> we've named him Hammond, continues to be one of our biggest surprises. Even though he's grown from the genetic modification, we have more trouble keeping track of him than any of the other animals. Somehow, he managed to get out of his cage again. It took us days to find him. I can't help but wonder what it is he's looking for when he gets out there. He's shown impressive problem-solving skills oh. and adaptability to new situations. And he's overcome all the challenges that have been placed in front of him. I, for one, can't wait to see what trouble the little guy gets up to next. Being insanely obnoxious and competitive, I guess. Oh my, wow, I did- okay, I have like really strange thoughts now about that scientist that brought up Winston. I mean, you know, when you watch the Winston cinematic, you're like, aww, you know, he found the one smart 
you know, gorilla, and then he brought him up and he taught him everything. And oh, it's so cute, so wholesome. But then you see this, and it's literally actually this institution that breeds them and then tries to like raise them in a specific way and they don't just do it to gorillas either they do it to multiple species and i'm not gonna lie that gave me a little bit of an <laughs> moment but i gotta say this this evil hamster story the hamster just gets loose and then just makes his own way in the world i love it it's, it's, it's good stuff um I am so sorry, Anna. I'm actually sorry. See, the the story in itself is better, but because I am so upset now with the scientist that raised Winston, I don't want to put it higher. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to compromise. I'm going to put it behind the Anna one. Yep. Yep. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. Right, next one, Overwatch theatrical teaser. We are Overwatch. Oh, this should have been in the cinematic video, but uh, it doesn't matter. We're watching it now. We are hope. Farah. Rainy. We are courage. We are justice. Aww. We are compassion. We are determination. We are harmony. We are Overwatch. literally goosebumps again i don't know what it is like ever since i watched every every single one of those cinematics as soon as they're coming together i could feel my eyes getting watery oh okay i don't think it's in here either so just know i would rate this s tier actually this one would go into here right here into this square we're gonna do baptiste origin story now Let's go. I also don't really know much about him. <laughs> choices? Okay, we what got a cool animation style. About choices. 30 million orphaned children. I was one of them. The Omnic War robbed us of 30 our 30 billion. Choices. To survive, you did what you had to do. Steal or starve, kill or be killed. You helped your friends and hurt anyone who got in your way. If you hungered to rise above your circumstances, then when someone offered you a hand up, even the devil, you took it. It wasn't complicated. I At love this accent. At least that was a lie I told myself. I think it, the truth it, is, it just sounds I so had cool. choices, and I made them. But when you think you're a big man, it's hard to admit that you are not a brave one. Even harder when you understand that making a living is not enough. You must make a difference. I am going to fight for a better world. For some, that means a bandage. For others, a bullet. Today, <laughs> I give you the choice. So he's basically embodying the the choice that he didn't have. Either a helping hand or, you know, a bullet, like he said. Dude, his hair here, it looks like the top of a matchstick. I don't know why it reminds me of that. It's really interesting to see how all of these characters have been shaped individually. I think I'm going to put it behind the ash one. I mean, I'm just putting everything in A tier now. Hello? Maybe, wait, maybe we just do this. Hold on. Yeah, I think this makes more sense. They breached the labs! Everyone get back! Stay down! Stay down! Stay 
So, this is it. Did... did I make the world a better place? Today, we welcome Dr. Liao to Omnica Corporation. They had every reason to doubt me. You should join us. But I helped create the Omnix. And who better to help us fight them? And only Overwatch believed. You are my life's work. You will be everything I dreamed. All I wanted, all I needed, was to help the world. And so, she created me. Her legacy. Her promise. Her echo. So this is the scientist, right? That made... Echo in her image. I know this is gonna sound like gossip, but someone in the comments said Cassidy had a thing for the scientist that made Echo which also is made in a scientist's image, which then would mean, or it would explain at least, how weird it felt between the two when he takes her out of the, um, the capsule or the, the box. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but the, I, I felt like there were weird vibes when that was happening. I think, I think I'm gonna put it like this. The next one is the Sigma origin story. Now he... I have not played him a single time at in-game, but whenever he ults, I, I, every time I think to myself, damn, that is such a cool kit for a hero to have. I'm gonna be so interested to see now Gravity. why he says, What is Gravity that melody? Is a harness. My entire career has been devoted to this idea, to this moment. Wow, that's some Decades. sick brows. If the unifying theories are correct, we will soon be able to harness the power of a black hole. Nothing will ever be the same. Why? This is wrong. The field is failing. Ah! What happened? Um. Where am I? Why am I being imprisoned? He released me. It's too much to hold on to. I will bring you a new understanding of the universe. violence. The universe is singing to me. Freedom. Imprisonment. It's all an illusion. Gravity is a harness. I have harnessed the harness. Okay. Wow. Okay, I didn't- I did not expect this. That is so freaking cool. What an interesting character. I mean, he perfectly fits in with Moira and the likes, right? The outcasts, you know, don't really fit in. They aren't stereotypical, like, hero characters, I guess. This is gonna be S-tier. I- I didn't think that this was gonna happen, but this felt like- you were like being dragged into a movie even though it was only what two minutes long like i got so caught up in like his character and that is hard to do the junker queen origin story One, two, three, four! okay we're singing Legend of the Duck and Queen. Watch your back, see the hurt 
in seventh grade. I think they are saying 17. Very cool, but I feel like I didn't really learn too much about her. I feel like what I've learned, I've already known from the cinematic, you know? Hmm. It's a jam though, the song is a jam, but hmm... Cause there was a song and there was a lot of effort put into that, probably. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna put it between Brigitte and Echo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is the latest hero, isn't it? I was created to lead Omnix into war. But all I have ever wanted is a better life for my people. The fact oh. that we exist is a miracle unto itself. We have studied the ways of peace and harmony. We have meditated on the universe and our place within it. We have tried to coexist with humanity, but humanity is not interested in sharing their world. How many more Omnix should perish to fuel mankind's dreams? No more. Our race is only a single generation. Finite and dying all too quickly. We can find our own place and we must Join me. Dang. And together, we will make a better future for all Omnix. Yo, I mean, how the spaceships popped in there. Future Can we talk me. about that? I want more of this story, dude. I want more of this story. Omnix in space? Like conquering worlds? Even though they want peace, I mean, I hope that they just go to an empty planet and they're like, okay, here we're gonna live, we're gonna live here, yay, finally. But I mean, this looks very um, aggressive. <laughs> Guys, this one's really cool, really good. S tier for me. All right, the Sojourn one. Let me quickly find it. Here it is. I found it. One of my favorite characters to play. As a DPS this too. This meeting of the International Justice Commission is now called to order. Please state your name and call sign for the record. Acting Commander Vivian Chase. Call sign Sojourn. How did you come to join Overwatch? My unit of the Canadian Special Forces teamed up with Overwatch during the Omni Crisis. Jack Morrison and I worked well together. And after the war, he reached out. Can you give us some examples of duties you performed? Huh. Whatever was needed. Sometimes I ran point for our agents in the field. Other times I commanded the operation. No matter what their mission was, mine was to bring every last one of them home. It sounds like you hoped for the impossible. I know. But they gave me the impossible every single day. It was the honor of a wow. lifetime to have served with Overwatch. But you can love a thing with your whole heart. Oh God! And still know it's time to say goodbye. Guys. Even the best journeys end, but a new <sighs> one is right around the corner, and you never know where that road is going to take you. True. So, when Winston called Overwatch back together, 
He must have also called Sojourn, no? Because then they, she was already in Overwatch, yeah? Oh man, I mean, cool character. Um, yeah, I'll put it between Anna and Baptiste, I think. And now it's time for the Kiriko segment. You guys said I would love her, so I better do. Okie dokie, Kiriko's origin story. Here it is. For generations, my family has served and protected our city. Oh, the art style is so pretty. Paths. Aww. My grandmother devoted herself to the fox spirit, who taught her the ancient way of healing. Whereas my mother has chosen the path of the blade. Passing down time-honored skills through training and discipline. At the, I kind of wish each of them wanted me to follow her. I had path. someone in my family that could teach me something but that cool. I Not, I mean, choose. the spirit healing. Training quiets my mind and opens me to the fox spirit's guidance. But throwing kunai knives <gasps> properly. And my bond with her. Let's me protect those or using who swords. can't fight for themselves. Aw, she's they so cute. Both made me feel whole. And they both felt like home. For generations, my family has served and protected our city. Something something ninjutsu. By following traditional paths. Me? <laughs> I made my own. Okay, you know what? Can we just have a show with all of these characters? In fact, can we just have an anime with all of these characters right here? No, I. Th this this is a money maker. This is a money machine right here. Please, Blizzard, Overwatch devs, Overwatch producers, we need. We need it. We need. <laughs> Please. <laughs> this is so cool. Um. Ah, uh, mm, yeah, okay, I'll do it. But now it's time for the last cinematic that I missed. And this, I think, officially concludes the Overwatch series on this channel. So let's really enjoy this one. Aww. Hi, Mr. Yoshida. Oh. Hi, Kiriko. <laughs> donuts for dinner again? <laughs> These aren't just any donuts. Nothing wrong with donuts. donuts with for dinner. <laughs> Wanna try one? No, oh. thank you. But I hope you and your mother enjoy them. She's here. Ugh. Let me <sighs> guess. She brought her vacuum. Yep. <laughs> you know, Is she a teenager? Work with me today. And she's very excited. Or a to young see adult. You. <laughs> Aww. Hey there, little rabbit. You're getting so good at that. Oh, but of course. Oh, I've got something for you. <laughs> Oh my god. Aww. How do I look? <laughs> well, I should get going. See you later, little fox. Mr. Yoshida, pray for me. <laughs> so cute. Here anymore. Just last week, someone in this building was robbed at gunpoint. You should never have moved out. I brought you groceries. Mom, you're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. Please, tell me this is not your dinner. 
Kiriko. Um... Mom, look at me. I am totally protected by the fox spirit. Just like Grandma was. Your grandmother is gone. And I will not lose you too. But Mom, the fox spirit can block bullets and balance your blood sugar. She's an all-purpose kind of spirit. All purpose. I, I, I think we need more of that spirit Snakes? amongst our, our people. You know I have a sword, right? I'm fine. I'm so safe. The grips on those swords look so cool. You know, I stay up all night worrying about you. You've stopped training with me. Kanezaka's falling apart. And I... I don't know how to protect you. Faith alone isn't enough, Kiriko. Mom, you may not believe in the fox spirit. Or what Grandma taught me. But believe in me. I'm stronger than you think. Are you? Wait. Dude, it's the same guy. The hair. I, re I would recognize that anywhere. It's the same guy from the, the Dragons cinematic. Do you know how ridiculous you sound? Oh, don't worry, Mom. I'm protected by it. Song owes us a lot of money. I, I already told you. I don't know where he is. Who you is the son? Who is? You think the fox spirit is gonna protect you? We are Hashimoto's son. Just want what's best for you, Kiko. Uh oh, here she goes. <gasps> oh damn, she's about to go down, is it? Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. <gasps> I'm gonna kick every one of you in the face. Yes. What? No one threatens the Hashimoto. Wait, wait, I, I don't want to get kicked in the face. I'm gonna call for backup. Oh my god, he's so big. Okay, yes. Ancient healing techniques, right? 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 We're Hashimoto. You, Hashimoto, have preyed on this city, this neighborhood, these people. For too long. I have a message for you to take back to your boss. Hanezaka is under my protection. Oh. 
Are you okay? Such a brave little fox. <sighs> She's so adorable. Both of them. Keep your eyes on this one. She's growing up so quickly. Thank you, Kiriko. I don't know why I'm crying again. <laughs> Stop. I shouldn't have stopped training with you after all. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I judged your donuts a little too harshly. <laughs> yes. Don't judge Maybe the donuts, God. Being home for a little while isn't such a bad idea. <laughs> Don't cry. Oh. You cry. I'm gonna cry. You are grandma. I'd be so proud of you. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, dude. When this fight starts. And the music. I you like this Hashimoto. moment. Oh, hey, on this city, this neighborhood. I don't know what to say. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. This would have been S tier on my cinematics tier list. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. You guys are so right. I love her. I love her story. I love everything about it. I love how badass she is, but still humble and kind. That literally already concludes this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for subscribing, if you're subscribing, um, or for coming back and for enjoying these videos. It's, it's a great honor. In fact, um, I think I might be able to join the YouTube Partner Program soon, simply because of the amazing support on these last two videos. So thank you a ton. And I will hopefully see you on Twitch at some point. I will post more regularly from, uh, from here on out as well. So thank you so much. Have a good day, night, wherever you are. Uh, take care of yourselves and yeah, stay yourselves as well. All right. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not worthy or good enough. All right. That was a bit of a sentimental ending, but I mean it. So take care. Bye.